Well, the kinds of things that companies look for, I think, in these early days of trying to understand the value that a patient-centric approach can bring, really relate primarily to the development side of the house because the voice of the patient really can help development efforts focus on the things that are most likely to be needed by patients and hence more likely to be in their voices and minds when they interact with the FDA around the label, around the benefit risk analysis, and backing up from that, even getting patients to participate in trials. All of these things help us first of all, better address the unmet needs, but also improve the efficiency of the clinical development process. Maybe a better designed study enrolls patients faster, gets the answer quicker, gets the drug approved more readily. All of these things are operating in an environment where efficiency means better business, better value to shareholders, where speeding outcomes and finding a product that better meets the patient needs not only benefits the company, obviously, but also um, puts us in an environment where we're much more likely to get that product used and ultimately result in some commercial value as well.